I'd like to improve our bike storage situation because this is really too messy for my taste. Too often I have to move around the bike to get to something else. They fall over and so on. I really don't like it. And um, with the number of bikes and the space we have, we worked out that hanging them on the walls is the best solution. We tried those hangers that you can get for fairly cheap and it works all right for us, us adults but for the kids it's too hard. They don't manage to do that because you have to balance the bike with its saddle on your knee and then work it into that hook and it's just they don't manage it with the bikes they have. So I've come up with a different solution and it looks like this. The bikes neatly hang on the wall, they can be wheeled on and off and don't have to be lifted. The racks swivel to save space and empty ones can be pushed up against the wall to save space as well. My racks were inspired by the ones made by Steady Rack, but I made it a challenge to create something similar out of wood. If you prefer buying, I'll put a link into the description where you can find the originals. But if you're interested in how I made these, come on in. For the swiveling mechanism I'm going to use these parts here, parts of hinges, and they are going to go into a hole in plywood so that it's possible to swivel around. One sheet is a little bit too thin because then there is this little, um, st it sticks out here a bit which doesn't work. So I'm going to laminate pieces of scrap plywood together so that it's a bit thicker. Um, and then I'm going to cut those corners off and drill those holes so that after that I have blocks that I can use as the counterparts to these parts here and then the whole upright part of my rack will be mounted to these. So yet yeah, now I'm going to cut those scraps, laminate them together and then continue to bring them in this shape. Now for this project I'm trying to use as many scraps as I can and the axes that the actual holder will turn on, on swivel on, um, I'm going to use these rods, they have a diameter of one centimeter. Um, I don't remember where I got them, they've been sitting in my tube and metal scrap storage here under the ceiling for which I made a video by the way which I'll link to in the corner. Um, they've been sitting there for years actually and I thought they're just exactly the right stuff to use for these axes so I don't have to buy new stuff. So I'm going to cut them in pieces and then they'll be inserted in the holes to make the whole holder swivel up and down if necessary um, and that's what I'm going to do now.
Now, almost all wooden pieces are prepared. Um, the uprights, the holders, the blocks that will hold the hinges. The last pieces that remain to be made are the blocks that will hold the axes that connects the holders of the wheel with the uprights. And for that, I've laminated two strips of plywood and will cut it into blocks. <laughs> to drill a couple of holes in different pieces to prepare everything for assembly and some pieces will also get a chamfer for a nicer look and feel. time for assembly. Since I'm making seven of these racks it's going to be a bit of a serial production and I've made myself several jigs for drilling the holes in the right places. Um, I made a spacer to keep the different blocks away from the edges at the right amount um, and so I'm trying to make the work as efficient as possible. So this is going to be drilling, screwing. I'm not going to glue the pieces together. First of all because screwing is faster and also because I want to be flexible in case it turns out that all my prototyping and trying out of dimensions won't work out so that I'll have a chance to correct these things and move spaces or move pieces um, in different places so that hopefully this whole thing is going to be a functional bike rack once it's finished. Now, before I do the final steps of assembly, I'll give everything a coat of oil so that the dirt from the tires of the bikes doesn't stick to the wood as much.
Now this is the one rack um, that's a bit different because this is for the one bike that has a mud guard. And with that, um, the front piece that connects the two holders cannot be this piece of wood because this connecting piece has to slide between the tire and the mud guard. So it has to be very flat and it has to have the right curve to go between the mud guard and the tire. And so I found a piece of brass that I had lying around and from that I bent this connecting piece here. It's shaped like U. I drilled some holes in it and this now goes on here and on my prototype I worked out the angle that it has to be and then I'm going to screw it on here now and then hopefully it should work that when I roll my front tire on this bar should go exactly between the gap into the gap between the tire and the mudguard. Let's see how that turns out. And now I'm finished assembling and ready to mount these things on the wall and see if everything works the way I hope it to. Let's go. It seems um, that this will not hold the weight of a bike. So I have to come up with a different solution for that. Okay, I got different rope clamps and I tested by pulling the ropes apart and it seems that these are much stronger. So I'm going to exchange them and then hopefully the thing will work. So after a couple of months of using these, we're very happy with them. Our garage is much more organized and the bikes are always in their place. There's one small difficulty um, when putting on the bike, that's the swiveling mechanism because putting on makes the rack swivel a little bit, but that's really manageable compared to the lifting that had to be done with the original cheaper racks that I bought. So I'm really happy, I hope you enjoyed the video and here are two other ones for you to watch if you're interested and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.